Hey, it's Antonia, and we are here on Amped Up Live. As you can see, we have two amazing guests in the building. Woo! Well, on my right, starting with the beautiful lady here, we have Miss Danny B of Bold Ginger Media and PR. Right, right? Correct, right, correct. Right, nice to see you here. I love it, I love it. Here on my left, we have Sir King Leo. Hey. Hey. What's going on, y'all? Of Black Empire Taxes and King's Natural Products. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this segment is definitely going to be a little different. You know, we like to dabble here and there on like marketing and just talking about taxes and just giving information to you know people that wants to know more because yeah. I mean who doesn't Absolutely. want to enhance their knowledge or their business. So the passion goes. Yeah. So. You know. so uh, we like to start it off with Miss Danny. Ladies first. Ladies definitely first. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Hi. So explain to me what brought you to Brevard. I actually was born here. Whoa. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's actually very beautiful. That's a that, to me that's a blessing. It you know? it, it is. Yeah. Uh, I definitely didn't always appreciate it, but once I moved away and came back, I realized. And that happens. Home is paradise. Mm. Like, it's amazing here. Where'd you move to? If you don't mind me asking. Indiana. Oh, it's totally different. Wow. Than the culture shock was, whew. It was real. Mm. It was real. Real <laughs> hard. Oh, yeah. okay. And what brings you to Florida or, you know, Central yeah, Florida? Yeah, So, I'm originally from Syracuse, New York, of course. Uh, but I came down here from uh, football, actually. I was with my semi-pro football team. And uh, from Syracuse, we're at a championship football game here in Daytona. This was 2017 to January. I just came from just doing a bunch of nothing. You know what I'm saying? After high school, you just, you know, party, girls, money here, money there. Nothing real that's, that's really, you know, producing anything. Right. So mom told me, come down. You know, why, why, do, why keep doing what you're doing? Come down here. I'm like, listen, I don't see a future doing anything anyways. So, packed my bags up during that football game, loaded the car up, and I just stayed down. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I see. That's I nice. See. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. And it gets you focused, keeps you on your, you yeah. know, your grind to where you are today. Definitely, definitely. Yes, I had yes. a guy that came down here, uh, Nashawn. We were supposed to actually do a podcast with him eventually. We eventually, will, of right? course, of course. Uh, he's in the industry also in Atlanta, and he was just like, because I'm is in a vehicle. I was driving, and he was like, listen, bro, you, I remember when you first came down here on the bus. Mm -hmm. So... He said, you got to just be happy, humble. I said, yo, you're right. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring me back to where I was supposed to get back to because you really do got to think of where you came from. Yeah. You know, so people complain about so much, and it's like you got to really think about what this, what have you overcome right. to get to where you are. So, right. you know, that just that, that brought me back to reality. And, uh, yeah, it just made me smile. I love I mean? that. I love that. And mm -hmm. it just reminds me, like, everyone has a mission. Like, Everyone. you know, mm -hmm. don't think you don't have anything to do in life. You really do. Like, Correct. you have a purpose. Correct. But, so, yeah, speaking of purpose, Danny. <laughs> so, I'm intrigued. You own your own marketing agency. I do. That is, that is, I love that. You know, obviously, we, we came across Yes, we did. You know, so, <laughs> but I just want to know, like, what got you there? Like, what really was like, you know, I need to put my foot down and take control and, Cause you're obviously sure. talented, so thank you. I just want to know. Tell me um, more. So I, I would have to say I'm gonna go back to the beginning. When I started college, I actually entered into fashion design. Oh. I absolutely love mm. fashion. You can express who you are outwardly without having to say much. Right. Like it. Love it. Uh, the industry just wasn't for me. Mm. I just didn't agree with all the the ways it had to flow. Mm. So. Uh, I ended up walking past a class that was a visual communications class, Ooh. and it really was intriguing to me how they used typography, color, and movement right. to communicate rather than explanation. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That's the real story? Walked past that, is, class? that is the that's real that's story. Amazing. That's, I, yeah. I believe amazing. her because you I are very. I spirit. still remember. <laughs> yeah. she's, like, she's like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. I was like, that's the way and Jesus you go said like, you're so. fully like all headed when you do stuff like that yes. I love that about you you're so passionate thank you yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah it was actually Mr. Duffner's class shout out to Mr. D hey he, so this uh, is out here well, uh, yeah it was in wow. Orlando mm -hmm. awesome. went to uh, IADT Orlando nice, yeah nice. so 
that changed my career path and I absolutely love and enjoy it. Communications is is a, a wide field. Mm. It's not really segregated. It, it's kind of like art. It's a uh, abstract in all ways, but it's all art, if right. that makes sense. That, that totally does. So um, then there were some ebbs and flows when it comes to the economy. And unfortunately, at certain times in my career, mm-hmm. marketing was easier to cut for even corporate corporations when we went through recessions, oh, things yeah. like that. So I decided that if I was going to make it, I needed to put that control within my own hands. And I just started learning ways to maintain and manage my own business. Okay. Mm. Can I ask a question for both of you? Sure. Of you so both of you guys are essentially in the marketing field, mm-hmm. right? We're all in the marketing field, of course. For but sure. you guys are actually in that marketing field, field. How was it for COVID for both of you guys? Like, was it more, is it better for your business? The fact that there's people inside and you can, you know, hey, you need to get online now versus your, you know how businesses are. Sure. People are going to come in off of the streets and everything yeah. like that. Was it more like, what? Was, how was it well, more? I can say mine really quick. Cause it was Go quick. ahead. I didn't have anything. <laughs> it was slow. It was terrible. Mm. and But it inspired me to do more focus on me and like mm. go back into school, you know, study digital filmmaking and get more, just indulge with my skills, mm. you know, but other than that, business. You went back into school after COVID, or was it before it COVID? It was um, during COVID. I think it was after. So 2021, I believe. Okay. I started. So digital filmmaking with the Los Angeles Film School. Mm. It was online. I was like, look, where the world is still shutting down or shut down, and it's quiet. It's so slow. COVID helped your so business. It, it may not have been profitable was, at that point, but it, it helped, helped your business. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Damn it. That's a, it's a, it's a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You yeah. got me there. Okay. They're yes. all blessings. Good, yes. good. That's okay. for sure. Miss Danny B. <laughs> so, um, I would have to say, I so I was working internally as a marketing manager for a large uh, trailer manufacturer mm. in Indiana at the time, and I. At first, everyone went home. You know, there was no contact with anyone other than digitally. I did notice there was an influx in people wanting to go back to school or wanting to start their own Mm -hmm. business, wanting to change the way that they thought about business, what business looked like. I feel like that changed for everyone. Totally, Mm totally. Um, Especially how we communicate. So Mm -hmm. coming back to communication. If I could find a way to bottle the entire concept of communication being key, Mm. I would have all the shoes, <laughs> but wow. <Okay. laughs> I believe you. Yeah, <laughs> but you said something about communication a minute yeah. ago. Also, what, yeah. give me, give me, what's the communication like that's that brings you so much passion with communication? What, what, what is it? Because it's connection. Mm. You can't have connection without communication, but that Correct. doesn't even mean I need to speak to you. Mm. I could give you a certain look, a a, a nudge, a body language. Mm. Um, I could give you a sign that's universal to others and we could communicate about something no one around us even knows. Mm. Very true. Yeah. I like yeah. that. That's yeah. Very true. It's, that's it's, too. I honestly feel like it's the rawest art form yeah. is communication. And think there's about, so many ways. Think mm. about the thousands of years, like thousands of like ancient texts and like, mm. what is it? The cunif- cuneiform? Cuneiform? I'm not just I do. Yeah, I do feel like that's, that just, is a similar pronunciation. So imagine yeah. just like all from how trans uh, communication just just transpired over throughout the thousands of years. Well, Which damn, is we went from what still, birds to yeah. you know, giving the message to the birds to yeah. to the, the, the what is it the little ring ring yeah. you know? or just the carving in the cage. So now so. we got the so we can zoom call each other now. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it, it's it's oh man. But it's even hieroglyphics, best. those are communication. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, literally, literally. We translate so, those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. um, I was just watching like ancient Sumerian texts on YouTube yesterday. I get bored. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, you know, it's just it's deep. It's just it is. They've had this information from back then. Mm. And thanks to communication and us, you know, trying to study, we can, you know, understand mm. a little bit of history because it, it repeats itself. Yeah. So, yeah. Agreed. yeah. Communication right. can also be damaging. Yes, mm. absolutely. Mm. OK, guess that was that. Uh, depend on the way you communicate that what you're saying yeah well i mean honestly so i work in marketing and my model isn't a traditional model i prefer to support other freelance uh i don't want to say agents but Mm. Mm -hmm. 
you know, freelancers in general. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I prefer to outsource a lot of the work mm -hmm. Smart. to support others in the community to create a bigger table mm. rather than. I don't look at things at comp as competition right. mm -hmm. because if you do, you're already starting late. You're behind already. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, extending that creativity, mm -hmm. you can evolve. However, in marketing, there's also this damaging like cyclone of information that you have to fact check whether or not something is actually healthy. Someone could be giving pictorial mm -hmm. um images for children like this right. is playful and it's full of sugar yeah. mm. i don't That's as true, yeah as the marketing field stands i don't always appreciate where it all comes from i feel like it gives um misleading messages often mm. and because communication is so key in connection it could also be just so off point when it comes to relation mm -hmm. relatability right uh, but we consume it because it's available correct Damn. correct that's deep that's girl. so deep <laughs> that's wow deep. okay Damn. danny b <laughs> wow Damn, i think like... that's all we have time for today Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and commercial. no that's, that's great that's, that's that's crazy I, like i said the way you're talking about communicate is people sometimes i have to tell a good amount of people that sometimes it's loud. Something is loud. What's not said is sometimes louder than what is said. Absolutely. Because mm. people can feel a certain way or they give you a certain look but then tell you a certain thing. And people will take what they said versus what how they, they act, right? Right, right. And that's right. how a lot of, you know, relationships get damaged, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of times a lot of people don't, they're not, I don't want to say intelligent. I don't want to assault anybody. But not a lot of people are, they can pick up on language. Mm -hmm. sure. That's not just verbal language. So what do you call right? that? Like, how would you? Ghosting. Damn. <laughs> that's, that's Damn. okay. That's a part of it. That's well, when okay. you take away communication, mm -hmm. you're, you're forcing the other party to deal with what pieces they have because you have the rest. Correct. Mm. Yeah. So psychologically, that's why so many people get so emotionally torn up about people who ghost them because... Correct. The connection is severed without any explanation or understanding, and those are also ways communication can be harmful. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <Damn>. wow. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. So you okay? I'm a my bad. I don't want. But is yeah. it bad that I was like, okay, this is probably random, but I always tell like my homegirls, I'm like, just try to find closure instead of just. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. The mm. disconnection is the closure. Understanding that someone made the choice to step away, knowing it would harm you. Yeah. A woman said that. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh. Listen, Ooh. it's so cra <laughs> it's so crazy because, like how you just said, there are some women you have to tell them mm -hmm. you need the closure. But what she says is accurate, also. Both of you That's are both closure. accurate. Both of you. Are. But what you just said. I think. I think it's more her it's more of a you gotta adulting. read the language what's not <laughs> said is louder sometimes yeah, than what is said and for sure. people forget they tend to forget they that do. it's like especially if it comes with disrespect yeah oh, over, over absolutely it's like, okay i have nothing else to say you understood like what's mm. understood does not need to be said and i get that mm. you know but sometimes it eats people when they're just like i can't i get like i cut them off mm. but they're still like constantly thinking or obsessed mm. on it and it's just like maybe it's kind of healthier for you to speak to maybe not them but someone i guess absolutely makes you sense know. I, I just me my take on it i i nip the disrespect in the butt from the jump i just don't like the not about to tolerate stuff that i if i don't tolerate it, if it's something that's disrespectful or i find disrespectful it may not be disrespectful to you may not be disrespectful to you but i have my own way of, of feeling disrespected it could be more of Okay, I, I told you I need to be somewhere at this time, and you're, you're disrespecting my time now. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's just certain things that, that can be disrespectful. I just nip it in the butt from the jump. I don't even pursue it more because it's, well, if it's not worth it, right? Yeah. Depends on how valuable the whatever it is is mm -hmm. for me to pursue it. But I just like I just nip it in the butt. I don't disrespect. It's just not tolerated, really. I don't sure. really. Yeah. So you have communication when it comes to business, and you mm -hmm. have communication when it comes to just personal okay mm -hmm. so how can you find balance i guess with the two? so i just want to touch base on mm -hmm. something king mm -hmm. just said um so i understand and fully respect what you just said how you value yourself mm -hmm. you have self-worth so you say hey i'm only going to tolerate this amount correct totally understandable mm -hmm. 
-hmm. In my relationship with Jesus, I feel like there have been so many things that have occurred that I've been witness to or experienced Mm -hmm. that have led me to believe that when you offer more grace than you yourself can understand, Mm -hmm. you grow in ways that you couldn't understand. Mm -hmm. And so I, many times in my relationships especially, have held a lot more space than I probably should have for my own Mm. self-worth, but giving people the benefit of the doubt. Now, I don't have that same, (laughs) I don't have that same gracious space for Mm. those who offend those I love. So I almost kind of walk with this, I'm going to be fine if it happens to me, but I won't witness it happen to someone else. And I think also, though, someone said to me, would you be okay if that same person did that to your son, daughter, right. sister, what have you? And I would be like, no, that's completely unacceptable. Mm. So understanding that you do have to treat yourself the way that, you know, you treat your loved ones yeah. is so very valuable Gotta and have important. Patience. You can't beat up on you. you. Beat up on someone else is a reflection, really. Yeah. The way you speak to people, the life you speak into people, the doubt you speak in, if you, whatever it is, right, right. it's a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Yeah. For sure. You know, so it's kind of tells, like, what, what's in the dark always comes to light, right? They always say that. I, I'm a firm believer of what you do that what people don't see is more important than what people do see. I agree. Mm-hmm. Much more important. 100%. Because then it gives you your standards when you're outside, right? You mm-hmm. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's just, it. it's more important to have your self standards, your self values mm-hmm. before you put a value on someone else. Because when you do that, you can go insane. Stuff like that can make anyone go insane. Too much. Well, I care about you so much. I don't worry about what you say about me. I care about like that. This it it can really make someone go insane. For sure. Mm-hmm. Seriously, I've I've seen it because I've been through it all. So you yeah. know what I'm saying. So this is all this is experience in like an elevation of yeah. where I was before. So For I'm sure. speaking from experience. Sure. You know what I mean? So I'll also say that sometimes I actually was offered closure in the form of someone reaching out to me later Mm. and explaining how some of my behavior planted a seed for them to be better, do Mm. better by others. Mm. And although nobody wants to be the soldier, sometimes you just are. Mm. Right. That's totally true. When it comes to communications and, you know, being on a personal level with that and knowing how to communicate how do you feel that i guess reflects communication and marketing or someone's business or just in general um to uh like business to business or a customer to business um self to your own business in a way Mm. oh Well, Mm -hmm. relatability is a high key factor in any relationship we have relatability. That's how we make more space for others. We're Mm -hmm. like, oh, I understand this person. They come from similar mindset. I can be welcoming of that. Mm -hmm. Um, When it comes to business, you know and understand the person on the other end of the line is absolutely trusting you with something they love and care for. for So... A hired relationship is is, I mean, I don't want to say you're like family, but right. I mean you're no, pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Because that person also worked their blood, sweat, and tears, and the, what they're doing for themselves as well. And clearly, it matters. So relatability is, I don't want to say the quickest way because the the fastest way is mm-hmm. slow. But no, I <laughs> totally get it. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. over time, like. I guess when it comes to your business Mm -hmm. with taxes, Mm -hmm. not even that, with their natural products Mm -hmm. for health, Mm -hmm. do you ever feel yourself conflicting with Mm -hmm. customers trying Uh, to persuade them, like, hey, trust me, (laughs) you know? So, oh, wow. That's a great question. That's a beautiful question. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Um, I'm I'm going to kind of reference earlier right when we were speaking and you asked me what'd you ask me tell tell me what you asked me real quick um what uh, i was what i was oh yes oh i'm so sorry yeah so uh i asked if you made music Mm. 
So I, I bring that up. The business, I guess. I bring that up, and I, I like that actually. I, I like that. I You're like just the, so stylish. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, no, I appreciate I legitimately that. was like, this man's going places. Where, where is he going? I would like to know. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so, so no, no. But I, I brought that up because you asked me the question of, do you have to, you know, do that trust factor every single day? Yeah. I am a. This is say the elephant out the room. I'm a big black man, mm-hmm. right? No matter what. I always have to bring a specific, I have to carry myself a specific way all the time. Mm-hmm. I have to look a specific way all the time, right. which means I have to develop a specific way all the time. I have a goal of being in a higher market, the more affluent market. Right. People with millions and seven figures willing to give me money to get information or whatever it is. So all the time you have to, and that's really a part of the communications, a part mm-hmm. of marketing, right? You have to... You got to trust you. I said this a while ago in one of our uh, our old, you know, shows. You got to trust yourself. And, again, that trust I have for myself, it, it you know, exuberates. I think I'm using the right word. Into uh, other people. They see the same thing, right? So I have to carry myself in a certain way. So the trust part is it really relates to what I do behind the scenes, which, again, I'm very big on self-development. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to research a lot of things. Right. I like to experience because experience is the absolute best teacher. Mm-hmm. It's more than anything. Like yesterday, I went to the dealership just to figure out and see what can we do with a specific loan, an auto loan or something like that. And while I was asking the questions, a lot of the questions I already knew answers to, but I'm just seeing how they communicate also. And, you know, you start to see different right. how people are. Well, I hope I'm not going off topic too much. No, but I, it's relatable. You have to always carry yourself, especially being a black man mm-hmm. and in finance, the health side, of course, also. You have to be, you have to carry yourself different. Now, let's just say I was a rapper, you know what I'm saying, or somebody in the streets or something like that. They're going to respect me on that side, you know what right. I'm saying, because I'm a big black man. But when I'm on the other side as well, it's, it's a little, it's a little like, okay, like, I've came across so many individuals that look just like me, and they're thinking, oh, you must be scamming or something. Oh, yeah, I see. And I'm like, yeah. huh. It's Don't pay it no mind, yeah. right? But I just got, like, I had a conversation with my homeboy the other week. He said, yo, when I first, you know, met you, I thought bro, I thought you were a scammer or something like that. I said, wow. That's, it's like, I'm not even, I'm literally not even phased by it. Why is that? He said, um, I never seen a black man, you know, from where I'm from, leave, come back with information and give it to us without even asking for nothing for it. And I'm like, mm. that's really what my passion is. I, right. I like gathering information. I like experience. And I like bringing it back to the people. That's what you, know you should what I'm do so people. You got to, it, that, but that's a very good question, that yes. trust factor. It's very yeah. big. I got to be more trustworthy than anybody. So that communication part, I have to learn how to communicate. I just want to add two things. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, I feel like your persona matches your energy and that's what you put outwardly. So I like that. Thank mm-hmm. you. And then secondly, I thought you were like Usher. <laughs> <laughs> just I thought he was going to bust oh, out with a, uh, I thought he was gonna hit the mic. I was about to be like, "Let me see." Oh, wow, no. Yeah, you better know. Now I see it. Right? I see it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's like, tone it down. I wasn't saying you're a rapper. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. No, when you said rapper, I was like, I didn't even think about that. She's like, I was thinking a country singer. Communication. Hey, you'd be surprised. The one guy country music be lit. Yeah, one of the guys blew up overnight. Like and that. he was surprised. He's um I forgot his name. Kane Brown. I think so. Mm-hmm. Who's that? He's a, and he was like age doesn't matter. You know, I think is that him? He won he's, like a Grammy. Yeah, he's young he's younger. No, Got there was an older oh. no, that's not him. There was like an older He said age doesn't matter. It was like an older country singer and I think he won a Grammy. He was just basically saying, like, you know, age doesn't matter. You can continue to be Oh, your, for sure. Oh, okay. You know, you know Charlize career, Theron listen, was listen. like thirty five when she started acting. Who was it? Charlize Theron. Ooh. She's a really, really tall, beautiful blonde. She does like Chanel uh commercials and mm. she was in um Shucks. Of course, now I'm going to draw a blank. <laughs> she it's was okay. in a lot of movies. She was in Mighty Joe Young. Oh, I, I know you're talking really? about. Yeah. I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she was Blind also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know she was the about. main, the one yes. actress. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. You know you gotta say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I watch a lot of those. I used to say he looked like my dad, <laughs> Mighty Joe Young. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big my black, dad. bigger black man. Whoa, you know? hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, but nah, no, man. yeah, like, you know, and even when it comes to, you know, businesses, mm-hmm. I feel like even down to, like, text, it's important how even the color of your, like, 
your brand. The oh, absolutely. You Color that's theory that's is yeah, incredibly that's important. Important mm-hmm. that that also communicates. You know, to you know. You see, I like to come back here. All this gold yeah, and black. Yeah, makes you feel like gold that. and black. Is but no, but like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I always I'm curious to know like how does the color theory actually really work? Um, color theory actually relates to psychology. Mm. Yeah, directly you to do psychology. You give me psychi- psychiatrist or you know, Doctor Danny B. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you do. thank you so you much. You um, yeah, so like there's a there's a whole practice that you study about color theory when mm. you go through art school. Mm. Um, like the color red makes right. you hungry. Yeah. Uh, and and these are like statistical oh, wow. values. These are yeah. These are all studies that Dang. have been done. Wow. That's why certain businesses are certain colors, mm. and they're effective. What do they say about gold? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Your colors is I blue, yeah. orange. Mm-hmm. How do you explain to me why you chose those so colors? So originally, I was the typical red, orange, yellow flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now I have rebranded to blue and orange uh, because I have grown beyond where I was and now there's more oxygen in my fire. Ooh. Wow. So, it, wow. So, there's a meaning in the color. <laughs> yes, and that's okay. why the flame turns blue. It's more oxidized oh, and it's hotter. Yeah, I'm going to tell my nerd. I thought about DBC just now. You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, that's, that's my anime wow. right there. You know what I mean? see. Yeah, yeah. That's, She's not that's dope, though. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Danny, that's clever. Thank that's, you. You know, and that and that should make people want to choose you to be like, mm. you know, she actually put a thought into thank you, you know, helping me build my brand. Wow, mm. you make me want to rebrand. Like this red does make me hungry sometimes. Now I think about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whatever. That's why a lot that's of people dope, have red so kitchens. Dope. Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. before the whole modern movement, there were a lot of red kitchens. Yeah. Mm. That okay. is wild. <laughs> it's kind that of strange, really, I guess. Is. But like, that's the boldest mm. and most general, like, you know, value that I used of comparison. But there are so many, so many explanations for the colors that we think and feel when we see things. Right. Like mm. when we see blue, we automatically see sea. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ocean, mm-hmm. marine Sky. life, yeah, yeah. calming okay. things. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. So I know sounds had to do with psychology also. They from do. Here. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. What's his name? XX Tentacion. He mm-hmm. said what he said about sound waves, frequencies make you do X, Y, Z. So there was one uh, YouTube, what is it, video I seen. It was like people in Saudi Arabia, and it was like music playing. They always just going crazy. And I'm like, yo, that's really how kids... Think about right now. Yeah. Y'all have any, y'all have nephews, nieces, I kids? Yeah. Nieces and nephews. Okay. Play a song and just look back. Yeah. A song they never heard before and look back. Head starts nodding. Yeah. What the hell? Hold on. This is a baby. Yeah. A little kid just moving their head. The mm-hmm. music, sounds just made them do that. Yeah. So I always knew sounds had that strength to them, right? Yeah, it's deep. Color, I knew, it, I knew, but still was really gray in that area. Mm. You know I have I mean? a very so. fun story for that. Okay. When I was pregnant with my son, Elijah, who's now 22, mm. I used to sing to him when he was in my womb mm. a specific song, and I sang it to him when he was a little child, and still as an adult, he recognizes that no song. Way. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Sounds That's crazy. and frequencies are just like very intricate. Like They can it's actually powerful. heal parts of your body oh, as well. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. I see wow. why you like the music side yeah. of everything. I yeah. see. I definitely and I, see. And I, and I'm just evolving with it. Like I'm loving like and literally right now on my playlist, you go to my car, turn it on, it's gonna you're gonna hear high frequency music on Spotify. Like mm. the playlist. You won't hear words. Mm. You just hear like the bells, chimes, you know, it's little things like that. Mm. My musical palette changes often yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm okay with that. As yeah. long as it's positive, right. good, I can meditate. So be it. <laughs> mm. So be it. I just kind of hear as we go. <laughs> I don't really look. You are the music too. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I go really to yoga it. over at Kula in Merritt mm. Island, and they have sound baths. Really? Um, yeah. At the end of certain classes, they'll pull out the bowls and they'll. I love that. Um, mm. Do the. Oh my goodness, I, I don't have the proper word for it. Yes. Yeah. But the vibrations yeah. that come out of it. Mm-hmm. One one time, one woman just she just ugly cried right there on the Dang. mat it just released wow. all this pent-up stuff yeah wow. it's very powerful sound 
Yoga wow. relaxes you too, so I can only imagine. Relax, then you got that sound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Or anything oh. that's like keeping your, your holding in. It's just. Yeah. It's like that days. Sunday cleaning, and you hear that music, you get in cleaning mode a little Oof. bit more, right? So that, that's, that's, that's dope. Yeah. It's good how that ties in with marketing, mm-hmm. also. Does so that's why I like sounds attached to the brand mm-hmm. as well. So every single brand I've done or touched or something like that, mm-hmm. I've always got a sound attached to it because. I think it's important. Yeah. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving. Like you oh, always. Absolutely. Yeah. They knew what yeah. they were you doing. You just with hit that. the nail on the head they with knew. that too. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And that'll be remembered that way always. For sure. Always. For You're for never sure. gonna forget it. You no. Never are. You hear That's that? That's crazy. Uh, what else? Red Robin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You always know what to say. Sounds yeah. are. You attach a sound to a brand. There's always gonna be for some sure. type of memory Absolutely. just from hearing it or seeing a certain yeah. thing whatever it's always something in it so that's important of course in the marketing world for sure for yeah. sure but so and this is probably going to be a little lengthy but we'll, mm. I'm, this is my last question with you know the change of everything you know how like i just feel communication is more organic pure you know all of a sudden and even with the sounds how do you feel with the times we're living in with the you know with ai coming where do you see communication going I don't know. AI is good dangerous, one. to be honest. It's a good one. It's da- it's helpful, but it's just dangerous. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of things that are being filled by AI that are, I don't know. I feel like that's the point, though. I don't know. Yeah. Like, we don't know. Yeah. And I think that is kind of the dangerous part about I think, it. I think we do know. We just have to look. For in the text you don't know (laughs) (laughs) no one knows look at the text it's kind of like before everything repeats itself it's kind of like we've been given a mary poppins bag Mm. and we're like oh my gosh what is in this and it's curious and it's fun and it is incredibly creative Mm. where does it end Mm. is oh yeah i don't see it ending for some reason i don't see ending unless we're replacing humans oh i don't mean stop i mean where does it end how much of it can mm. be manipulated? How much of it can we control being manipulated? Mm. And I think that's the dangerous part. We don't know that. Yeah, you can't. It, contr- you can't. You can't replace everything with AI. You can't. And human. Re- you can't replace can't. this with AI. <laughs> what if you, you can't, can't replace humans though <laughs> with AI? Like, oh, you man. really can. Just, not, I mean, not I'm the not saying really is, oh, man, Well, no. I'm also thinking in it. terms of like the unhealthy measures that maybe AI would do that a human would not. Mm. Yes. That scares Correct. me. Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. I think you have to learn how to use it because it's, I don't think it's, in my opinion of it, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think we just have to learn how to really utilize it, right? Sure. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't see it as anything I just feel bad. like it's going to overcome us. Eventually. There's overcome. always going to be someone who's like, "What can I gain from manipulating this?" Mm. And right, correct. We, we, don't <laughs> correct. we don't know. We don't know. But in terms of marketing, though, I will say um, it is an incredibly supportive tool for creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, there are graphic designers that that are artists, pencil to paper. Mm. There, you know, they can draw artistically and then they can apply that digitally. There are some designers that digitally are geniuses, but don't draw. Mm. Um, There are some designers that are amazing at vectors, which are shapes that create communication. Mm -hmm. There are some that are amazing at Photoshop. No one person has really like skilled at all unless they're an Adobe specialist and they all work there. So, Mm. Um, (laughs) but so a support in that way, mm-hmm. in a creative way, is amazing. Like for Easter, <laughs> I asked AI to create a bunny, an Easter bunny, surfing on a surfboard, and I okay. sent that to my surf crew. <laughs> like, happy Easter, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, wow. And that's like bunny, you know, yeah. something cute and funny yeah, you could use course. it for. Yeah. Yeah. So I know you asked about AI. No, um, continue. I'm finished. I mean, my question to you is, what? what's your best – marketing skill you use or Me? marketing yes you okay sorry both of y'all both both of us y'all, right your marketing what's the best thing you've done marketing wise that's produced the best result for you you do a lot of marketing hmm. that's why I, this is a lot that you do um what is the best marketing that i've done something that's produced a 
big influx of clients or influx of followers. I, or I would something. say this brand. Yeah, I would okay. say this a platform. I mm. created a platform that I allowed people to be themselves and mm. you know whether you're an artist whether you're an attorney whether you're a chiropractor whether you're mm. you know into anything mm. I, I just feel like um that markets from within itself mm. i don't know so mine is actually right. part of what you said mm. i encourage my clients to continue to be uniquely who they are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do not yeah. fall into the trends mm-hmm. and do not mold yourself into something you're not mm-hmm. like Correct. continue being yourself and whatever products and or services you're utilizing. Mm-hmm. If it's something that's going to be successful, it's going to be successful that way. Correct. Yes. Correct. Don't force it. No, do right. not do that. Don't jump on trends. Stop changing your logo. Mm-hmm. Stop yeah. paying for Google ads. <laughs> Woo! That's another topic. Whoa. Whoa. That's did it be? <laughs> I'm coming think, for you. I think no. I- <laughs> <laughs> I asked you that, and I, I know with, with King's Natural Products, one particular thing I did was, I mean, I got, me and Tusi come from the same exact city. Okay. Same exact city. So his people know my people, basically like family. I know him. He played football in the same field as me. I remember mm-hmm. him. Played football with my sister. Um, I remember getting, my, my dad called me one day uh, and said, listen, Tusi and I want to try your CMOS. So mm-hmm. I got on the phone with him. We spoke for a few minutes. And I got the CMOS out to him. Ooh. He ended up tagging me See? on King's Natural Products page. Ooh. And every three seconds, I got a follower. That day, I had over 1,000 followers. That that's little, great. That's that not, is... I don't have that much followers on there just yet. But, but that, that produced 20, 20 orders, 21 orders. Wow. That produced in that time frame. And it produced also 1,000 organic followers. Wow. So when I ask you, like, what's the, what's the thing that brought, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. most return? I mean, like. Do you remember a specific thing? What you said, actually. Organic, organic, organic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Just being gotcha. organic. Yeah. And you yeah. were just being organically yeah. you, and yeah. look what happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. My, it's crazy because my dad, they tried my CMOS for the longest, but the woman he's with right now, Miss Jackie, I love you, Miss Jackie, right? She's, you know, she's like, uh, two, she's uh, like his godmom, okay. right? So when she was like, listen, I'm down there. She saw me how, you know, I'm with, I am with my kids. I'm always juicing. I'm always doing different things, feeding mm-hmm. them the CMOS, feeding them healthy things that's good for them. Right. She just, I guess, after, I didn't, I never asked her. I always knew she was always plugged in like this with him, but I never asked her. She just called me like, hey, I'm going a, I'm to a get you guys in contact with one another because his I mom said that. he need this CMOS. He's not taking no more and this and this. Yes. He tagged me, said, yo, this is the best CMOS I've ever had. Like, wow. Really the best. Wow. And again, from that, that brought all that, that that's traction. That's how you do it. You that's know? beautiful. So, yeah. I mean, maybe so you were just trip. looking out for your people. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah, and maybe sure. my trip to Africa when I had um, interviewed Fela Kuti. Okay. He's a Ooh. big, um, not Fela, it's Femi, Femi Kuti. Femi. Fela, Femi Kuti's, Fela Kuti's son. So okay. Fela Kuti's like the, the African known, the first guy of like Afrobeats. Oh. He, he Yeah, his oh, like, Dang. yeah. So anyways, then I interviewed his son. So mm. that legacy. So from there, you know, and that's a location where like Burner Boy would go to and have yeah, shows yeah. all like big artists there. But from then, I felt like people then was like, okay, she's actually serious about yeah, what she's yeah. doing. But how long ago was that? That was 2020. That was COVID, March, when it just was like, people was like, oh, you're about to shut down. I was like, no, I'm going to be stuck in like London because I had a layover. Mm. But it was worth it. It was. Okay. But no, I think from then, I think it was. You think that's the, like more of a elevated your brand more versus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I'm still going to be me and I, I can go on other people's platforms mm-hmm. and people will still, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's like, like what she said, it's just being organic. Mm-hmm. I just try to just be organic. See, I see you like living in the moment as well. Yeah. I see that. I, I never like really that. looked at that. I'm just like, oh. I like you that. You definitely do that. Yeah, just like. She, she lives in the moment, yeah. which she is does. a great thing. She does. You ever yeah. measure what you do? I I, I tell my, my girl, I tell my wife yeah. all the time, when you're, when you're speaking to someone, speak to them as if, you're trying to learn to teach someone else. Mm. The highest form of listening is listening to teach. Mm. 
it's always listen to teach. I like that. If mm-hmm. you if you do things like that, I pro- you're going to see a lot more, oh, this work. Let me do more of this. Mm-hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? Right. Listen to teach because now you can duplicate yourself also. And that's mm-hmm. how you build a business. Off but that also is attuned with your energy as well mm-hmm. because you are listening with the intent of giving to others. Mm-hmm. And that is... You can't teach that. Mm. Does That's that make so sense? True. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Um, one thing I picked up recently in business, even affiliation, is I will not work with someone who speaks from ego over insight. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah. That's so actually, that's that's a that's, that's a that's a that's, standard. See, yeah, that's very powerful like to that. have. I, yes. I won't work. That's the beauty of being yeah. employed, self-employed. That's the yes. beauty of being self-employed business owner. You don't you choose who you get to work with. Also, the, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we big. work with each other. Mm-hmm. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love, I love that, that a lot. You guys definitely. This was an amazing episode. For sure. Off. Just Thank knowing, you. just Thank knowing you. that we can just speak on different volumes from communication to just natural health. You know, it just shows that, you know, this is what we need in today's society. So I thank you guys so much for being here. And yeah, you know, thank you for having us. This is home. Thank you for having us. Come back and just, you know, just talk. I'm sure everyone's going to love this episode because this is just something that's, you know, it's needed. We can just learn, like you said. Mm. You're here to listen, but you're also obtaining that information to teach. Correct. Correct. I love that. And relate. Yes, and Mm -hmm. relate. Communication is key. Yes, so, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Y'all, yeah. y'all got me with that. I didn't even. Yeah, that was deep. I didn't think that was going to be. Did, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Danny B. I've got so many layers. I love it. I <laughs> love it. And that's why I was so blessed to have you here because you, like, yes. forever, from the day I've met you, you've just been, like, just a, just a beautiful, like, unicorn just red and blue <laughs> thank you so much i love it okay. i love it so yes so you guys thank you guys for tuning in and just continue to show love